Hello beautiful people and welcome to Heroes and Generals. So this has come to Steam. Um, it was one of the first games to be greenlit. Um, so it's uh, been around quite a while. Basically it's a, I guess a second world war. Um, FPS really, that's all I can really say about it. There is a campaign uh, section on it. Um, under the generals, I haven't really done anything about that all too yet. yet. Um, all I've done is the heroes. Um, so I played a little bit of this last night. Unfortunately the game crashed but I've just logged in and the good thing is that it's kept everything that I did in game. So I've got my badges and so forth you can see here and I've just unlocked like a ridiculous amount of weapons already. Um, as you can see down here where it takes you and so forth. Um, I do want to show you the star though because it is like most free to play games. There is the purchase of the pay to win aspect. Obviously you've got to unlock this stuff first but you can unlock it straight away but if I show you this so I've unlocked all this already you can actually buy it with the game currency up here. Now I've only played one round and I seem to have gained like 5,000 from that one round last night and however many of whatever this is from here. Dwarf, dwarf ones are earned by playing the strategic game, higher level assault teams and higher rewards, yada 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 yada. It's so basically you can find yourself buying everything with the actual in-game currency, so there's no real need for the pay-to-win aspect. So we're going to jump into um, the game. Now the estimated queue time for me last night came up at like 5 minutes, but in actuality it took about 30 seconds. So I'm going to the game. Let's see what, 8 minutes 21, so let's see how long it takes. So the fighting with the shooting the guns and so forth is very much like how the original Battlefield was. So if you can go back like 10 years, 10 years, maybe 15, I don't know, it was quite a while ago, I can't really remember when I was playing that in actuality. I know I was still in school and we were all going crazy for it, but the fighting is pretty much similar. Um, so it's quite good to go back to an FPS that, uh, that has that old feel to it instead of the new FPS now where it's just literally you zerg in, you run around, you've got a semi-automatic and you're just shooting everyone. Come on! The sounding game as well, I'll just quickly mention that. The sounding game, so the bullets firing and everything else, um, doesn't sound too good. Um, you'll hear what I mean soon anyway, um, in the sense that it's, the sound needs refining, but because it's an indie game, and it is what it is, it kind of works in that you shouldn't be expecting too much. The graphics itself are pretty, well they're pretty alright for free to play to be fair, I don't think you'd really expect much more for, from a free to play. Oh god, come on. Right, so here we go, so we're in game now. Uh, can I turn the audio down? No, that's a bit loud. Yep, there we go, turn the audio down, resume. Right, so we're gonna spawn. And the one aspect of the game that I was talking about, which is obviously the Got one. No, no, we've got one. Yes, we have got one. This is bike. You can ride a bike. What other game is there out there that you can ride a bike on? Pure brilliance. Oh nice, I've just got a badge for riding this bike. I think I took someone out with a frag anyway. But you can see the the shooting, the fighting. 
Um, it's very much like the old Battlefield. That's that nostalgia to it. It's the enemy car. Obviously, you can still hear the sound, but you, you can sort of understand what I mean with regards to uh, how it sounds. There's a nice echo to the explosions going off. Oh, there we go. So we won anyway, but you got the gist of what it is that we have to do. You can see there, um, I've just literally got 4,000 credits for pretty much doing nothing. I killed how many people? Like two people. Uh, what else? Have we and there you go. So it's literally, um, yeah, there you go. So there are all the ribbons that I've got. You can see we've got the 4,000 credits there. Um, it's a pretty decent little game. Um, It'll be interesting to see what happens when it actually starts getting some more popularity. It still is in uh, the early access through Steam. But yeah, give it give it a try. See uh, see what happens. Until next time guys, take care. Bye bye.